So some of you may have noticed that there isn't going to be any big free chapters since it is Golden Week for Japan, so there isn't going to be any chapters. So I decided to change it up with a discussion for you today. And that's going to be really talking about, you know, the quality of the big free themselves. Yes, I'm going to be talking about which one do I think is the true favourite of the big three, and I think which one is the personal favourite from them that I'm going to be talking about each and every series throughout this video. So let's get started off with probably one of the ones that I've been holding close to my heart, and I feel like this is probably going to be the hardest one for me to talk about, and that is Bleach. Yes, Bleach, I got pretty much was the first series I ever reviewed on the channel. For a reason, this is going to be of the recent years how I feel of it, especially this year of Bleach. Bleach has really lost a lot of interest personally into my own um, personal feeling of it. I mean, I really still do like the series, but from what how Cooper's just been doing it with this, just like, oh, here's a fight, here's a fight. There seems to be like nothing's been happening for like, oh, it's just like this fight, then that fight, then that fight, then that fight. And not to mention as well with the qualities of the fights as well as like, especially not regardless of the Kenpachi stuff, there were other things I've had issues with the manga for a while now and I've actually generally lost interest throughout like the past like this whole year really losing interest with the series which is sad because I out of everybody, everything I have owned every day I've backed my manga that is probably one of my biggest collections there alongside my fairy tale collection is the Bleach collection and it's very sad to see that because I really do thoroughly enjoy but at the moment this ma the manga has been very very slow and I feel like Kuba has been dragging out the series not to mention not to the credit of the fights that they have had like, upon for a few exceptions like that, have been very good. The art, as always, is still very beautiful. So you can't take that away from Kubo. He does do good fights when he does them. And not to mention, he always has su supreme art every time in his chapters. But, you know, Kubo, we need to go backgrounds already. God, let's bring that in. This, this is going to be talking about probably everyone's, like, personal favorite whenever I hear talking about it. And that is One Piece. <laughs> One Piece, um... This is going to be hard for me to say about One Piece, but... Yep, yeah, One Piece has actually groomed um, to my liking throughout the um, throughout the years. Actually, I never, to be honest, like back in the day, I really honestly did not care for One Piece. I did not care about talking about it. I did not really care for anyone um, even mentioning about it because I thought it was like overhyped and it was just you know it's all ridiculous. I mean, by the time I caught up onto One Piece was about during I like to say just a bit after the the time skip happened. Um, I think it was somewhere where. Fishman Island happened, it was round in the manga where I was at at that time. And since then I've been caught up to it and, you know, been reading it. And there have been times that I have dropped the manga, like Fishman Island, uh, 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 please try and defend Fishman Island, but that was very interesting in my opinion. Like, it just wasn't that good, a good start to One Piece, you know, like, the, to the time skip. And since then I have been watching it, I've been enjoying it, I've even started reviewing it this year. And to be honest, I'll even admit this like that. I still think One Piece is overhyped for it. Like I, I kind of don't like how they it just goes from like you know, oh, a comedy to that, and it's like to a serious action and all that. But I still do get a thorough enjoyment. And I'd say like out of all of them that I'm going right now, One Piece is in the middle. I actually say like One Piece is probably like in the, the big three, which is probably going to bring up a lot of shit that's coming out in the like, next one. But. Honestly, uh, Dressrosa, I've enjoyed bits and parts of it. The tournament really did start off slow for me, in my opinion. Um, not to mention it as well. Now the manga is doing really good. I'm really liking you know, the whole stuff of Saba, you know, ending of the tournament. We're sort of wrapping up with Dressrosa now. So I'm actually generally looking forward to seeing what's going to happen like that. Now, everyone, there is a like, surprise I'm going to think about this because this was actually my least favourite out of all of them for the past years, but actually has grown up to be my favourite of the big three right now. And that is Naruto. And before I get it, it's like, I know, like, people hate Naruto a lot. It, they, I, to be honest, people hate on Naruto too much. I think it's ridiculous how much people hate on Naruto because people bash it every single week that I hear about it. And it's like, if you really don't like this series, don't read it. I mean, what is the point of you reading it? Or even I see people freaking talk about it on videos saying like, oh, I'm just going to keep talking about Naruto. I mean, are you desperate for cash or something at this point? I mean, come on, it's ridiculous at this point. I mean, if you don't like a series, don't talk about it. But if the checks aren't coming in so you can't get any money, then yeah, that's, just, that's your own problem right there. But, you know, there's no need just to keep slandering a name. I mean, if you're just going to talk about it, then just talk about it. Because uh, in the end, that's just ridiculous at that point. But... For Naruto, surprisingly, um, it actually really grew up um, to my liking. I mean, regardless, I didn't really um, 
when I first thought about it. I didn't personally like the whole Obito reveal stuff. That was me, my own opinion. But, but this past year of Naruto has actually been very joy. We've had the whole high stuff happen. We've had the conclusion of Obito versus Naruto. We've been having the final fight is now happening right now in Naruto. A lot of stuff is starting to ra um, wrap up. Yeah, regardless, there was some things where, you know, Kishimoto was dragging out. But if we think about it as well, uh, I'm also including, you know, like art and story into this. Like, like Naruto is in the middle and all that, but so far it actually has been really enjoyable for what's been happening. I mean, like, if we think about it, like, at, like Kubo has got, like, you know, he's got amazing art. Even, like, you know, One Piece as well has got amazing art, but sometimes they each have flaws. Like, that, I'm not even saying, like, each series has flaws. That we, we can we can already say that, we can admit that already. Every series, every series in this world has had flaws and all that. But for the one that I've been personally enjoying the most throughout this year, I've got to say it's actually surprisingly Naruto. There's been some really good bits of each of the big three, but um, I hate to say it, people, but I am actually enjoying Naruto a lot more. And I mean, if you don't like that, that's your own personal opinion. Like, you have your own choices throughout the big three. I mean, I never thought I would ever be saying here at this point that I'm actually enjoying Naruto more than I am with Bleach and One Piece. I honestly never thought I'd say that because I always thought I'd be a Bleach type all my life, but um, it's slightly just faded off really, um, in my own personal opinion, that um, that fandom, even for like all of that, it's going to be sad because I guess I'm feeling a little bit more like kind of towards Naruto as well, it's that it's ending as well, so it's going to be sad missing, like, missing Naruto actually. Um, for some, I know a lot of people are going to miss hating it, like I can definitely tell that much, but um, that's probably my two cents on it, like um, how I feel about the big three at the moment, like um, I want to know in the comments down below, because this is more just me rambling sort of like video than it is like a full discussion about what's happening in, you know, Dress Rosa and like what's happening now in the you know, in a thousand uh, year blood war, what's happening now in the uh, Madara versus Naruto versus Sasuke, you know. Stuff like that, so it's just my two cents in on it, uh, in opinion, in a little quick thing. I mean, if you guys really want me to go in depth with um, each of them, I can do that. Um, potentially go in how I feel about each series and you know how I got into them and stuff like that. I've um, I thought that'd be interesting videos to do, but I thought this would just be a nice little supplement for you know not having chapters this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section down below about this little rambling. But. That's all for me, I want to thank them for watching as always, and remember, I would like to hear your competition down below. But, like I said, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys 